we have arrived. We are camping. We did find a spot close to home at Mommy Bay State Park. I know, I know, we were here several times last year, but Mike has to work tomorrow, Saturday. So we had to stay fairly close for him, but we got Guy and he's pretty excited. He's gonna spend all day with me tomorrow and we're going to hope that it doesn't rain the entire time, but they're calling for several days of rain, which is no surprise. We're kind of expecting it to be kind of a no campfire kind of weekend because it's not going to stop raining long enough. But we brought firewood just in the off chance that it turns out to be decent, which has happened in, in the past. So not giving up hope. We finally made it out. And I'm going to bed. Bye. Yeah. Mike has to work tomorrow, like I said. So it's just going to be myself and Guy, but this is why we like this park. That was close. Big. Yeah. So I never actually said how we got this site. We got it yesterday because, like we've said time and time again, people always cancel yeah what is say 24th yeah yeah so it's I mean it's the holiday weekend right it's it's May 24th 822 p.m. and we got a site and we got a site and they're fully booked now yep no more walk-ins no more sites so for now I let Mike go get ready for bed yeah I gotta get a shower and go to bed <laughs> Boo. <laughs> okay, we camping. Oh yeah. So it is Saturday morning. Excuse the mess. It's actually pretty nice outside right now. They are still calling for storms, but right now it's been sunny. Guy and I just came inside. We've been sitting outside all morning, just chilling. Right there. We're probably gonna go for a walk before any of the rain hits and by the time Mike gets back it will be raining. So hopefully we will be able to enjoy some of this day. Um, tomorrow is not looking so great so we're going to try to get in as much as we can today. Hopefully Mike will be home and the traffic won't be too bad so that way we get to spend some time with him. Don't mind my uh, camping hair. Camping hair ain't care. <laughs> pretty much. It's pretty breezy out today, so it's not good for any hairstyle other than Mike's. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm home from work. Finally. Home. Yeah. Well, I've been home for a couple hours now. We just haven't recorded anything because we're lazy. Yeah, but we do have a campfire going. We've just kind of been hanging out and it's been pretty nice here. It's so quiet for it being full. Yeah, it's a full house, and if it wasn't for the wind, it would be pretty nice. It's it like would be, 75 yeah. or so? Uh, it's not quite that warm. Okay. Earlier today, it was in the mid-80s, and it was amazing. And then it rained. And then a storm rolled through and cut down all the heat, so here, now we're sitting at least by the fire getting some heat. Tomorrow, it's probably gonna rain all day. It might be 
mostly a washout. So well, I we'll just hang out inside and just enjoy being in the airstream. Right. I do plan on doing some cooking and it can be modified to be done inside or outside. So stay tuned for that whether we actually get to do it inside or outside. What do we have here? <laughs> he just climbed up here. Yeah, he was whining and crying and Mike started, he reached down and petted him and he just climbed up there. We don't have our chair out because it's sprinkling. It's been just raining on and off. So we're just outside. Debating. Yeah. Well, we were originally preparing to have a campfire. So we've got our shredded paper in there and our blowtorch. <laughs> and then it started to sprinkle and here we are. Remove the wood, put everything away. Yeah, it's Sunday. We woke up to the sound of rain. Yes. <laughs> it's just been on and off all day. It's not it's been a bad day. No, it hasn't been terrible. It's not like a complete washout, so. Yeah, just can't really be outside and trust it. Yeah, it started to get pretty dark out and we just didn't want to chance it. We'd get a nice fire going, then it would start to downpour. And I do want to cook on the fire, but <laughs> we're waiting to see if that's going to happen or not. I have my doubts. Yeah. If I need to, I can use the oven in the Airstream. In our last video, when we showed our new house, we said we'd tell you what we paid for it. We paid $159. So a lot of people were pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. I think somebody was on the money with that one. I think they're, yeah, I don't remember anyone being exact, but I think it was someone no. that was super close. No. no guy. Guy. No. 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 <laughs> Two dogs walked by. <laughs> He's usually pretty good. <laughs> they're gone. So anyway. So anyway, yes, about the house pricing. It was a pretty good deal in the area, which is, uh, it's a hot market. Yeah, we put 20000 down on it, and then our house in Marblehead is sold. It's done. It's Closed gone. over. So we took the profit from that, and it repaid the twenty that we used as a down payment. Right. So, I mean, we... In actuality, we could have put down more, but it worked out pretty well for us, and yeah, we're, now we can put extra on our payments. We were scared to put down more, but it worked out. Timing was everything in this case. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we came inside, because it's coming down now. That sprinkle turned into this pretty quick. Yeah, and the radar didn't show it hitting us. It showed it staying north, so we thought we were safe, and we're not. Yeah. Oh well, it's camping, I guess. The guy's content. It's he, all that matters. He's been uh, different since we don't have Wolf anymore. I mean, he's he's happy and plays, but he's just I don't know. His personality is a little bit different than it used to be. That's a true statement. And it is weird not having Wolf camping with us. This is our first camping trip of the year, and right different. We actually have Wolf's bed under this table, which is where Wolf always, that was her spot. She loved to be in a cave and Guy refuses to to step foot in her bed. Yeah, he will not lay in her bed. Nope. Just won't do it. So we don't know when or if we will get another addition. We're letting Guy lead that. Yeah. So. But, I mean, for the most part, he's happy. He's just... yeah. Little quirky things about him are different now, so. But he's still quirky, like climbing up on the table. Yeah, he'll still climb up my lap when I'm sitting on a pig table. <laughs> <laughs> some things never change. I'm making some hobo packs that are typically made over a campfire, but as you can see, it's raining outside. <laughs> so we are modifying said recipe to just cook here in the old oven. Uh, what I have already is just some cut up bell peppers, some potatoes, some thin cut steak, and some chicken sausage that is Cajun style seasoned with some provolone cheese, garlic, butter, and random spices. So what I'm going to do is kind of just take half pretty much because I'm going to make two packs. 
and put half of everything. in the packet and I'm going to season it salt pepper thyme garlic powder a little bit of that some oregano, and I'm actually going to put a dollop of garlic because, I mean, who doesn't like garlic? If you don't, you're a vampire. And a dollop of butter just to help it cook to retain its juices. slices of cheese. What you're going to do then is just kind of wrap it up into a packet. Just that all the edges are sealed up nice and tight. And I'm just going to place this in the oven and then after a uh, probably 10 minutes or so. I'm going to flip it over for another 10 minutes. What temperature? I've got it set at 350 right now. I went ahead and I did about 20 minutes on each side. About 10, 10, 10, 10. Flipping it over. And everything came out really delicious. Now if you're making it on a campfire, it won't be as long because the campfire is much hotter. I kind of kept it as a, a lower temperature just because I wanted to control it and it turned out beautifully so we're just going to enjoy this meal if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment below I'll get back to you about how I did it why I did it etc It's uh, Monday. We are pulling up to the dump station. It's Memorial Day weekend. Any other time, there would be a line down this road yeah. for the dump station. But we're bypassing because we're going to dump at home. We have our very own dump station, so we will not be partaking in this wait. But <laughs> go figure. Yeah. When we have a dump station at home to utilize, it, uh, that necessary you know on a normal weekend there's a line to get in there yeah like but. not like a line but like several several it's it's forever long and they have directors telling people which way to go and all this stuff and our black tank is currently at 94 percent the gray is at 88 percent i think yeah that's yeah, close we anyway. only have a little bit of fresh i don't know how much but yeah like maybe 15 20 percent of fresh yeah so we're just gonna lug it all home. I mean, <laughs> we lugged it with fresh water here. So we're just taking our water back home again. Yep. Overall, it was a very good weekend. Uh, it did rain, obviously, but it's not camping unless it rains in Ohio, as one uh, subscriber mentioned in a comment. So <laughs> that's very true. What'd you think, guy? Did you have a good time? Yeah? Okay. We're we'll camping again? Alright. <laughs> guy gives it four paws up. <laughs> Made it home, guy. Now we shall dump. We'll, we're going to feature our uh, dump station a little bit. I did cut this green pipe down a little bit because it was a little high. But I think it should work pretty good. Yeah, I think so. It, kind of sucks that we got to cut through the grass to get it this close but i'm not complaining because we have a dump station right and 
I figured we can even stone over some of this grass and make it how it'll work for us. Get away from that. Okay. Oh, it's working. Success. I like it. I like it. Outside shot of the house. I know some people have been asking for that as well. What? I just got a shot of the outside of the house because some oh. people were asking about that. So you can see it's mostly garage. And then that right up there is where we live. <laughs> the good thing about how they got this dump station set up is the trailer's tilted. It's not right. level. So like a dump station should be. All the tanks are reading zero. Perfect. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> just wanted to give you guys a quick peek as to what the big garage looks like without the Airstream in it. It's pretty big. It works out so well having the Airstream covered. We love it. Guy, no. Guy, get over here. And she's in. How about that? See you next time. See ya. Stay tuned for that. Whether we actually get to do it inside or outside. You can do it outside or inside. Yeah. Yeah, same, same. You can stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> That'll be at the end. <laughs>